We're joined by CSU Bakersfield head coach Rod Barnes. Uh, coach, can you just tell us about your team and your expectations for the season? Well, uh, starting with our team, uh, Ali Ahmed is our obviously first team uh, preseason all conference player, and that's where we'll uh, build our team around. Uh, we think our front line is uh, one of the most talented front lines in the league. And, and we're excited, and that's where our strength and our experience, uh, that's where we are uh, try to win most of our games. Uh, our backcourt is experienced, but we're very talented there. Um, we feel like we have very good chemistry because our postman and Ali Ahmed is, is back with, along with Kevin Mays uh, and Jalen Arrington. And those guys, uh, I think, averaged about 30 minutes together conference play last year. And uh, Brent Rapp, who averaged about 22 minutes a game, is back. So we feel really good about that. But we feel like uh, we had a really good recruiting class and found guys that could fit the roles that we need. And I uh, feel like um, you know we're prepared to have a great season. Uh, it's going to take a lot of work. The league is very good. Uh, but we feel like we're just as talented. And, after three years of recruiting and working, we think we're experienced enough and talented enough uh, to compete and take that next uh, step with our team. Coach, after last season, um, <clears throat> you know, with those returning starters that you had mentioned, what do you think your team needs to do this year to kind of rise above that and, and try and win the WAC? I think, um, first of all, we got off to such a horrible start last year. Uh, you know, our non-conference play, and we lost a r lot of close games early on. And uh, as we, you know, grew and, and played more together, uh, as we got into conference play, we started to learn how to finish games. And I think this year that's going to be the most important thing. Uh, we had opportunities, whether it be against uh, New Mexico State or Grand Canyon, uh, teams that were at the top of the league last year, uh, with a minute to go, even here uh, during the tournament, you know, we got a shot, a three, a wide open from the corner that if we make it, uh, we go ahead of New Mexico State with a minute to go. So, um, as I tell our guys, you know, you got to continue to put yourself in the right position. And, uh, and then someone has to make plays. And we feel like we've got the guys now that has the experience, first of all, to put us in that position on a consistent basis. But we think we've got a couple of guys that can kind of separate us this season. You were mentioning your recruiting class and how well that's been. Are there any newcomers that are standing out that may open some eyes this season? Well, Damian Duran, a transfer from Baylor, uh, may be one of the most talented guards that I've ever coached. Uh, that's being in the SEC and Big 12. He is a talent. Um, obviously, uh, he still has to improve, and he's a freshman. He's young. Uh, but he could be one of those guys that could have a breakout season that not only people uh, in our conference would be talking about, uh, people all across this country would be talking about. He has that kind of talent and ability. And I think with the guys of our front line that we have, uh, we don't have to push him as hard as a freshman to do, uh, you know, be such a – you know, impactful player, which I think opens the opportunities up for him to, to have a really good year. What do you think about the 30-second shot clock? Do you think it's going to make the game more exciting, higher scoring? Uh, honestly, I don't. But that's a coach that's been known and believes in defense. So uh, the thing that I think we may see a little bit more of, I think the game will be played faster. But I could see more bad plays, really, because there's less time uh, to really develop plays. Uh, I also, uh, I'm just not a fan of the 30-second uh, shot clock because uh, if we look at the NBA, there's, there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one play. If you look at the finals last year, that was a lot of dribbling the ball down and the ball stayed and – the two best players' hands. And I can see college basketball moving to that. And if that's what we want, I'm willing to coach it. But it just seems like to me that 
years ago when the ball was passed around and everyone shared it, that it was a better game. And we've got to learn how my team, and I hopefully that we can play a little bit like the San Antonio Spurs because they do share the basketball. But I can see there are some games that this is just going to be a one-on-one-on-one -on -one -on -one kind of situation, which concerns me of how really exciting that is and what fans are going to think about it if that starts to happen. Coach, uh, last year you upset California up in Berkeley for a big win. Uh, do you have any non-conference matchups this year that would be of that caliber if you got a victory? Well, you know, we play Arizona State uh, at their place maybe on the same day. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, we feel like, uh, you know, playing at St. Mary's and playing at Wyoming, uh, especially St. Mary's, they have tradition now. So to, to get a win at their place in a tough place, and they've been really good there, would be a really a, a great win for our program. But, uh, but you know, again, we're kind of uh, – we've believed. We played and beat Cal last year. The year before, we almost beat USC. The year before, we always almost beat Washington State. So we, we've been believing that we can beat, you know, some high major programs. And uh, we feel that same way this year. You were picked to finish third uh, by the coaches and fourth by the media. Can you just talk a little bit about those predictions? Well, I mean, uh, to me, uh, it's probably, we're right, probably where a coach would like to be is with this kind of team. Uh, I think we're, we're good enough to be, uh, you know, one of the top teams, uh, but also the league says that this league is getting better. You know, I think we probably have our best team, uh, but then pick fourth uh, and then pick third, uh, I think is a good place for us. It's not too high uh, that our guys walk around thinking we're the best team in the league and it's not too low. That we're unconfident that we could win it. So I, it's a good place as a coach. Uh, but I think we're probably right near where we need to be. I think New Mexico State is the best team. Uh, they're the best program. Uh, and I think Grand Canyon has shown that uh, uh, they've really gotten in the league and done well. And uh, when you got a little guard at UMKC, you know, I think point guards is a you know, where you win games. And uh, they've got the best one in the league, I believe. All right. Thank you, Coach. Okay. Thank you. Hey.